Mm-hmm. Welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. Yes, first time eating our own homemade Italian sausage. Yeah, I think it should be good. Smells good when I was cooking it. Yes, definitely. Finally got my spinach added to a meal for you guys. <laughs> I finished that whole bag that was good, in there. Good, good. Yeah, it's got a lot of garlic in it. Oh man, what a day, <laughs> what a day, what a day. 6.30. He had to come get me. He said, I'm going to eat without you if you don't come down. <laughs> she was stuck working, 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 mm-hmm. working. is busy this week for her. Yes, it is. For my girl. Mm-hmm. But the dinner for tonight was Italian sausage, garlic. Cook that up. Oh, it's so good, babe. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Oh, then I added the spinach while the noodles were cooking. Once the noodles got done... I kind of delayed things because we planned on eating at like (laughs) five o'clock. So things have been like on hold. Um, Heated the meat mac up, added some sherry, Mm. some wine, and then heavy whipping cream. Tossed in the noodles, let it reduce down. Heavy whipping cream, when you just let it cook slow, it'll reduce down on its own and make a nice thick sauce for you. So indulgent. (laughs) (laughs) A little... um, What are they called? Pickled? I don't know if it's necessarily pickled. Those like cherry peppers. Oh. That yeah. that hoagie spread for garnish and a little bit of okay. Parmesan cheese. I wanted to do garlic bread, but I didn't do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. So we did this'll, do um, oh, this will rival anything from Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> Olive Garden? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's so good. Oh. Mm-hmm. We did do some planning last night of the rest of the meals for the week. We did. Mm -hmm. And I think most of the rest of the meals this week are your creations, right? Oh, no, that might not work. (laughs) (laughs) Are you playing Iron Chef with me again? No, I'm just like, with the way my work's going right now, Mm. it's going to be a long week. Well, yeah, they're still pinging. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. All right, but we told you in the last video that it's Mm. forecast to rain, 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 and it didn't rain today. Forecast is kind of changing, so I'm excited that I may get out in the garden this weekend. I went out there today. Did you? There's still water. Oh, no. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Mm. Yeah, this turned out really good. That spicy pepper stuff is like... It's excellent. Kind of nice on Yes, it is. I was reading the Amazon reviews that I've been trying to find, you know, when you go to some places and they have like Philly cheese steaks and they put that red pepper relish on the top and it's spicy. I've been trying to find it and I think I finally found one. And so now the goal is to figure out how to can (laughs) it so we don't have to buy it anymore. (laughs) Well, some of the reviews I was reading of, of the product were basically saying, don't just put this on Philly cheesesteak. This is awesome on everything. We put it on our spaghetti, our pasta. So it was red. I thought it would make a good garnish, but it's actually really good. It is so good. It's definitely spicy. It definitely kicks it up a notch. Yeah. So I'll see you guys at some other point this week, and mm-hmm. we'll just keep eating good. Next time we cook. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
Are you so excited? <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know what you put in it. I wasn't in here when you were cooking. So I told you guys, like, one of the things that I've loved about just experimenting and growing and cooking our food is trying new things and really encouraging you guys to explore your taste buds, explore your flavor profile. So that's what we're doing today. This is a Nigerian recipe. Okay. I've never eaten anything Nigerian before. And as I was putting the spices and everything together, I was just the whole time saying this feels so weird. It feels so wrong. <laughs> oh no. But I did taste it like a peak taste. Um, after everything was together and I was like, wow, that's going to be good. Um, I'm not going to tell you what's in it though. Oh, no, you not it. Gonna, no. it seems like it's really, really hot. So I, I had like 15 minutes between meetings and I came down. It was that fast. Just dump and go, throw everything in, set it on simmer. And it's been simmering on the stove for what, like an hour, hour and a half. About that, yeah. Nice flavor. Wonder if you can pick out any of the seasonings. <laughs> Not really. It smelled like taco seasoning, kind of. And that, well, there is cumin in it. Cumin. And there's chili powder, cinnamon, garlic, um, salt. Paprika. Did I say garlic? Garlic, yeah. Anyway, it's just a lot of things that I'm not used to putting together. I think like the cinnamon was like, oh, um, turmeric. Mm. Turmeric is in it. And the, the, the one that I really felt weird about, so it was my um, carrot soup, a typical Nigerian carrot stew. It's called Nigerian carrot chickpea stew would be like sliced carrots. So I just used my carrot soup, a can of broth, a can of tomatoes, a can of chickpeas, that simple. Hmm. And then raisins. Is that what the black yeah, things are? There's raisins in it. I saw the little black things and I was like, what the heck is that? Yeah. I thought they were like brown chickpeas, defective <laughs> chickpeas or yeah. something. Yeah, they taste like raisins. Mm -hmm. yeah, isn't that interesting? I love it, though. It's a wonderful flavor. He's not used to eating vegetarian. So when he finally heard that it was 100% vegetarian, he's like, thinks he's going to starve. <laughs> I'm like, you're not going to starve. There's tons of protein. Protein in the from the quinoa, protein mm -hmm. from the chickpeas. You're going <laughs> to you're gonna be okay. I guarantee you guys. Tonight before bed, he's going to have a meat, some kind of meat in his hands. <laughs> Maybe. That's not that bad. It's pretty good. Not that bad. It's really good. Lovely. lovely. <laughs> like I can picture this getting this served at a restaurant before a meal, like a side soup. And mm -hmm. really lovely. So now I know. I know I like all these flavors together and it's fun. And it's giving me ideas of like, if we use that as a base, like that's a really lovely base, that carrot soup with a can of mm -hmm. tomatoes and a can of broth. That would be great for a lot of things. Yeah, everything came from a can except, it did. well, the quinoa, but that was stored in a jar too. It was. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you guys next time we cook.
Are these RPs? They are RPs from the freezer, yes. They look <laughs> overcooked. <laughs> they were frozen when I put them in. Mm -hmm. so I dug. I had to dig down in the freezer to find some. Mm -hmm. After our, what was it, sausage, Italian sausage fettuccine Alfredo, the other day I cooked up an entire one pound package of fettuccine noodles, which is apparently way too much yes. for one meal. Mm -hmm. So there was a bunch of leftovers in the fridge. I wanted to use up something with them. Not that I'm a fan of carb bombing ourselves twice in one week, right. but we did have a break yesterday. So something quick, easy, tuna fish casserole. We haven't had tuna casserole since I think the kids were home. Probably. I used to get it at work sometimes at the cafeteria oh. when they would have it. but. Mm. I actually love it. I think it's a, just a warm, hearty meal, and it makes me think of all the kids being young and <laughs> throwing together a quick, fast dinner. Mm. It's good, though, babe. Lots of yeah. good pepper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I put a lot of pepper. I put in pepper, and then I second-guessed myself, and I put more pepper. <laughs> <laughs> so, What else did you add to it? Cream mushroom soup. Mm. Milk. Mm -hmm. Just the basics. Tuna fish. Yeah, that's all really. Mm. Salt, pepper, panko on top. Can't beat that. <laughs> Simple little meal. Well, Rachel is working, working, working again. I had to go, it was 5.30. And she was still upstairs in her office working. So, and then when we get done, she's probably gonna head back up. Yes. Just that time of year. I don't want to complain on camera. Yeah. <laughs> and I wanted to today. In fact, it's going to start raining probably in about 15 minutes. I was hoping today to get out to the chicken coop today. I was going to bring you guys along and show you my... When we shared with you guys that we were getting new baby chickens, a lot of people asked, how are you going to integrate new flock in with old flock? And I want to share with you guys my experiment that I'm doing. <laughs> He's because totally in charge this year. I just don't <laughs> have time. He's because doing I a think great job. I think it's kind of cool the way I, the way I cut this set up. So I'm going to try to get that film. Maybe tomorrow I'll film that for you guys and share that with you. Not that He's so the much, order of videos coming out. Yeah, I'm so much what? An animal lover compared to me. Like my animals are here on farm to do a job. Or he's just like, oh, but they need protection. And like <laughs> I am. I get protective over yes, them, and I does. have like, <laughs> I have like a soft heart person. Such a softie. <laughs> I used to cry when I was a little kid when Frosty the Snowman would melt on the cartoon every year. <laughs> not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, not you. Really? That's weird. <laughs> like the most sensitive guy ever, I think. No, you're not quite that bad. I don't want people to think that you cry at like rom-coms or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> no. No. But he won't like watch. What did I tell him? Oh, there was like this terrible documentary of like that fair life milk. And that would be like a brand we would That's buy. That's the type of milk I used yeah. to mix today. Oh, right. <laughs> that would be our type of milk that we bought. And I just saw it come across. I'm not sure who shared it. I'm like, oh, Todd, stop buying that brand right away. And you need to watch this. And I was explaining like what was going on at this farm and... He's like, I'm not watching that. <laughs> <laughs> Same with so like watch movies sometime. What do you like? Those like murder, crime, mystery, crime, like, drama yeah. type things. If there's like any kids. If there's any hurt. little kids, like the little kids that are in danger, I won't watch it. Yeah. I just I don't I don't enjoy that stuff at yeah. all. So. <laughs> Even though it's just a movie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't Yeah. Lord have mercy.
trees. <laughs> oh! I can't do it. Here, I'll do it. <laughs> well, no, that's the shoulder that hurt. Yeah, I know. So welcome to Sunday, the last day of the week. Wrapping up what's for dinner. We were about this close to just ordering pizza <laughs> because we've were. We were been outside working. All day. All day. And we're tired and a little bit crabby. And Rachel's <laughs> kind of cold. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, I'm fine. I'm just chilled to the bone. I think I got a lot of sun, whether or not it shows, but like my nose feels weird. I was outside like all day. This is fun stuff. Can't wait to share it with you guys. Yes, there was a, um, a gentleman by the name of Delton, D-E-L-T-O-N, sent us an email a while back and he was like, hey, do you have a copycat recipe for pickle smash? And I'm like, never heard of it. I don't know what pickle <laughs> smash is. He was like, you got to try it. I'm going to send you some. So he sent us actually like a three pack of this stuff called pickle smash. And Amazon, unfortunately, well, yeah, it was Amazon or the postal, shipper, whoever the shipping thing. was, ended up breaking two of the jars. But we still got one jar. And he mm. said, I'm going to send it to you. I want you to try it. So we're trying it today with some burgers. With the intent to try to reverse engineer it to can it. Maybe. <laughs> it depends. Mm. But if we don't like it. Yeah. I mean, it's good. Is it good? I think it's like a pickle salsa. Wow. I, I got some pickled eggs. To, I'm going to try it on some pickled eggs. And That's really interesting. It tastes a lot like salsa. It tastes a lot like pickle. I think so. Yeah. Let's mm. try just some of like straight. It tastes, it's really good on pickled eggs. Yeah. It definitely does have a very strong underlying just pickle flavor. It's really, really good. Yeah. So we're not, not affiliated in any way. And I don't think Delton is either. He just sent this to us as a gift, but it tastes pretty that? good. A little topping on the pickled egg. <laughs> Yummy. Cute. So that's what we're going to try on our burgers today. Dinner today was really simple. Burgers on the grill. Pickled eggs and beets. Okay. <laughs> I was whooped. Yeah. It was a long weekend. A long weekend of filming. We filmed all day yesterday. We filmed two videos today. Did he tell you guys he fell down the stairs? And fell down the stairs today. Rushing to get dinner going and just missed a step in the basement steps. And, and one of those like where your feet go like doo -doo 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 down the stairs and then your instinct is to grab something yeah. <laughs> and I grabbed with like my, my shoulder's been bothering me some. Oh my goodness. It, it sucks getting old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People have been telling that, us that for a while mm -hmm. and I'm finally starting to get it. <laughs> yeah. And what a fun day though. It was a fun week. We're wrapping up, seeing signs of spring coming. Mm. It's a little spicy. Damn, that stuff's good. Yeah. Hmm. And doesn't it have like no tomatoes? I don't think so. Mm -mm. But it's like orange. I think it's from all the seasonings. All the peppers, maybe. Yeah. But it's kind of spicy. <clears throat> so we'll see you guys next week on what's for dinner. We'll see you guys before then, but. We will? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's for dinner usually comes out on a Monday. Mm -hmm. They'll see us before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> see you guys soon. Sounds <laughs> well, good.